sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I'm gonna shave your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust on you. Sway in the morning, shave for five, man. We about to get into this A&R room. Before I do, man, I have to say Rich Nice. We invited a very special guest here. Easily, as a lyricist, one of the most unmatchable MCs that the game has ever seen. Ooh. I remember when he first came out, and I remember when the Wake Up Show always steadily supported the ultra magnetic MCs. Ultra. We were there from the beginning, funk your head. We were there, ladies and gentlemen. We were there. Even when he turned into the Dr. Octagonocologist, we were there. Dr. Octagon, we were there. Yeah. We were there, ladies and gentlemen. Big shot on the East Coast. Even when he turned into Dr. Doom, we were there, ladies and gentlemen. Damn. In all the different monikers since, we've been there, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Early. He's been around the world easily, the one artist that's been signed to the most labels in the history of rap music. Facts. The one artist with the most pseudonyms, the most monikers, the most alias in the, in the, in the history of rap music. Most costumes. There's never been another MC to utilize as many words as in many ways as he has. The eccentric one, ladies and gentlemen. The different one, ladies and gentlemen. The chosen one. The one and only Cool Keith, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, and yeah. Cool Keith! Yeah. Yeah. Cool Keith is here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I'm happy to be up here. I'm happy to be up here. That's what's up. Keith, yeah. Keith is the reason. And they, a lot of folks may not realize it, you know, but when you look at the eccentric stylings of a MF Doom or if you mm-hmm. fast forward and you and you, and you, and you look at a Our Future uh, or you look at some of these artists. Outcast even. Outcasts who dare to be different and bounce out of the perimeters of the norm, the status quo. Cool Keith from day one has always went against the grain, and that's been part of the thread that makes up the fabric we call hip-hop culture, ladies and gentlemen. Cool Keith, round of applause. Yeah. 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 Hold up, man. Yeah. Keith made rap popular in parts of the world that you didn't even know knew about rap. Cool Keith did that. Give him a round of applause. Yeah, thanks, Wade. No matter where I travel, Keith name, if we start discussing hip hop and where they discovered it and who they liked, whether it's France, Germany, Japan, uh Cool Keith uh Cool Keith's name always comes up. You don't recognize some of the stuff that people do for the culture, uh, unless you, you go out and trace the tracks yourself, but a lot of it isn't reported about. The Smithsonian just did this amazing um, a museum, and in, in it they incorporate a lot of hip hop history. I hope they incorporate it. Cool Keith, ladies and gentlemen, Cool fame. Keith. I got to be inducted to the Hall of Fame. This is your speech. I'm giving it right for yeah, you right now, it. man. You ain't got to say I'm nothing. Doing, I'm doing it. Yeah, hey, I'm, I'm doing. I'm doing, doing Keith. I'm doing. I'm you all got right. Only go ahead, for Okay, okay. You see what I'm doing? Go ahead, for I put the. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you was coming. I had to put the right ones on. Yeah. He got a new album. It's on iTunes right now. It's called Feature Magnetic, ladies and gentlemen. Cool Keith is here. Probably, hey. probably my what 80th album. Just so how many have you done? 25, 26, about 30, 30, 30 40, 30, 40 albums. About 30 yeah. albums. 30 albums. Yeah. Wow. 30 albums. And do you own the rights to all of them? Yeah. Mm-mm. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then I put out. You know, I put out a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. You know, I just don't want to go by the protocol of, of the record companies holding the artist creativity. You know, like you know, everybody trying to be Barbara Streisand, put a record out every five years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, this is rap. You yeah, know what I'm saying, Rich, this is rap. Yeah, yeah. You, know yeah, you got to keep putting it out there, right? Yeah. Um, do, does that pay bills, man? Like, for yeah, the- you know, I still travel around the world, still go on the road, still do shows, still record in the studio, still stay active. So, you know, I, I just think there's no limit in, you know, making records. How, how does the audience change, like, over the years from Ultra oh, yeah. now? Oh, yeah. Well, Ultra used to do the ghetto clubs and the hard <laughs> stuff and the shoot 'em up stuff. And now they turned into, like, it's a whole different, gra- you know, geographic of people at yeah. these shows now. Yeah. Chinese people and white people. Like you said, it's everybody <laughs> going there. <laughs> so uh, it's just, like you said, it, it just switched off. Do, do you still stay in touch with, like, TR and all the people from Ultra Magnetic? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's just, you know, a little harder for them, you know, to adjust to the times right now. Like you said, they get stuck in a mold. You know, yeah. they got to watch what's going on, stay current. But, you know, like you said, some people stuck in a certain time zone. Yeah, yeah. How have you, uh, you've never been stuck in that time zone? Like nah. What, I, well, what I, always, I always was ahead of my time, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Lyrically, wordplay, um, 
you know, you never catch me out there with a night, you know, with a nineteen eighty five style and mm-hmm. still trying to do it. Mm-hmm. I always stayed ahead of my time. I was ahead of my time anyway, so yeah. you know, it, yeah. was, it wasn't a problem to adjust. I'm they just catching up to what I'm doing. Who mm-hmm. Keith, ladies and gentlemen? Keith, looking at the differences. Um, That's Tracy from- G. Yes, hi. Uh-huh. Tracy Trace. Yo. Yeah. Okay, so looking at when hip hop um first was introduced to us and then looking at hip hop in 2016, if you had the opportunity to choose when you initially came out came out to the public, which one would you come out? Which year? Uh I think the golden age was the best because uh everybody was distinctive right now, everybody's the same. Okay. I yeah. mean, everybody had a distinctive character. You know, everybody didn't sound the same. Yeah, you know, I was forbidden. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah, it was a it was a crime to sound like somebody else. Now mm. it's cool to sound like somebody else. Right. It's interesting you say that. So in this era of, because you know you've always been advanced in styles and doing different uh, patterns. So in this modern era, who do you think is good, or who do you like of these new guys that have the awkward styles? Uh, uh, I mean, I still like like you know atmosphere. I like MF Doom. I like uh, you know, you you, you got some. I like Big Sean. I don't, I don't mm-hmm. hate on the new people. Mm-hmm. You know, I still have you know. I got all kinds of, you know. I know I'm a current person, so I know everybody on the from A to Z. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't hate like some people in those times kind of hate. Maybe they feel like they can't do the style. They be yeah. like, oh, I don't like them new cats, man. Them dudes. Mm-hmm. I don't like them. Man. You know, I don't I don't got I got I, I think it's all good. You know, I don't, I don't have any any animosity towards who's new, and you know, I just stay current. That's all. That's mm-hmm. one. Big Sean, it's funny you would say that because he got that kind of complex, intricate, pick the pocket type style. That I would say your style has always been that complex, intricate, yeah, pick apart the pocket type style. Right. right yeah. yeah. Well, I like you know, like I like good writers first of all. Yeah. You know, a, a rapper that could pick up a pen is right. an exceptional rapper to me. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? But I guess if you got somebody writing for you, that's also good too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, a exceptional rapper writes his own lyrics. You yeah. know, he paints his own pictures, yeah. and that's what's good. You know, he definitely picks up his own pen. You you give an extra. Uh, we were trying to. I was trying to give an analogy of why somebody was like, well, why why you don't like people who write who don't write? I said that's not true. I don't care if if you got a writer or not. Uh, if you know, if you got a great writer, God bless you. You know, but when you ask me about dopest MCs, if I'm standing next to Cool Keith and I think he's as dope as Heather B, uh, and I'm trying to decide, well, who's the dopest? Uh, one of the questions I'm going to ask is, did Keith write his rhymes? Did Heather write her rhymes? Right. Mm-hmm. And if somebody didn't write their rhymes, then they're an A. They get an A. The one who wrote their rhymes get an A+. plus. Right, right. You right, know right, what I mean? Yeah, that's, right. that's all. You're still an A. Yeah, but you, like you say you can't take nothing. Just the way he said it. He said it good. You know, some people could... You can write a rhyme for somebody, but they can say it good. Yeah, right. yeah. You know so, what I'm saying? but, but the A plus, yeah, deserves yeah. M- Extra more credit. They yeah. credit. I'm sure you've written for some people in your time, because I know your pen is crazy. Who's some of the people well, you've written I, for? <laughs> even on um, Critical Beat, that I wrote most of the Sad's rhymes. Okay. Till he started writing his own, right. I wrote mm-hmm. the, like all his verses. I wrote, mm-hmm. you know, on that album. So it was like. That was a thing that nobody never knew. But really? I, I, that back then I didn't know what writers was. I, I didn't even take the credit for it or yeah. nothing like that. You didn't think about it, right? Yeah, he got the writers credit. Yeah, so he got the publisher. He get enough. a royalty check from you know what I wrote. But I'm saying, but yeah. as time went on, the second and third albums, he started writing himself. Yeah. But like you said, you can get the feeling of writing mm-hmm. somebody writing for you. Then you start learning the rhythm, and mm-hmm. you write your own. That's how it was with him when he first started. I wrote the first. His first blueprints and stuff. Cool Keith is here, man. You got a song called Writers featuring Razzcast, too. Yeah, yeah. Razzcast, one of the nice writers out there himself. You know, definitely a good rapper. Okay. And uh, this is dedicated to the writers. Cool Keith, man, the legend. 888-742-3345. Call us. It's off the new album, Feature Magnetic. It's on iTunes right now. Make sure you pick it up. Now, citizens. 888-742-3345. 888-742-3345. Joel's on the line from L.A. Joel, what up, baby? Joel. Big Joel, what up, baby? What up, what up y'all? Uh, Joel, a.k.a. j born in Texas, but uh, been in L.A. since 91. My man. Back, back, yeah, it's been a minute. I'm familiar with the Wake Up Show. Yeah. want to say what up, Cool Keith. It's What's Black going Yellow. on? <laughs> uh, that was a lovely track that was just played. Two of my favorite lyricists, you and Raz. 
Um, but I did want to say that one of my favorite verses that you that you did was uh, the uh, Death and World. Oh Chris, yeah, you yeah. Remember that? Yeah, with yeah, Prince Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I, that was it, man. I just want to say, you know, keep doing what you do, keep staying ahead of the curve, and um, we uh, we love you. We Thanks love a lot. You. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Hey man, you do you know that verse, Joe? Uh, yeah. Infinite yeah, infantry, no, no, space tech. <laughs> oh, infinite infantry, space tech, banana clips. Uh, <laughs> and you put me on the spot. I'm, I'm driving to work right now, but at least that's the beginning of it. Yeah, uh, infantry, one of my infantry, favorite favorite infantry. lines in there: "LAPD can't see me. I'm a Muslim bee." That's dope, man. Keith, Keith, you remember the verse, man? No, I don't remember that. Yeah, I don't think so, man. I, <laughs> I, I mean, I know you're talking about the song, though, with, yeah. with Prince Paul produced. Yeah. yeah. It's impossible to remember all your verses, right? Nah, yeah, I wrote a lot of songs. I wrote a lot of records, a lot of albums, a lot of... Uh, then I got a lot of songs at home that the world haven't heard. So, you know, I record about... I think I record like 300 songs a month. I'm a recorder at Harlick. I'm like two... I think I'm back, like Tupac. Really? Like I rec- I'm a recorder holler. Just record, record. Yeah, I, you know, some people make records for the label. I mm-hmm. make records because I like to make them. So you just rather they I come do out both. or not? I do mm-hmm. both. Yeah. You know, I do a ver- I do verses, features for money. I do features if I like a record uh-huh. sometimes. You know, I do my own records. You know, everybody else is too technical. They got to make the record for the label. Uh-huh. They can't put a record out. They Like you said, they go freezing Do, do you take years. advice, though? Like if Rich came in the studio and said, Keith, you should do the, redo that verse or let's structure it differently, or are you just to the point where... <laughs> it's kind of funny. Like, a lot of people see me in the studio, they be like, man, I can't really tell you to do a verse over. Only person told me to do a verse over was, like, Paul C., before, mm-hmm. he, you know, mm-hmm. before he passed. And um, that was ease back. But I was glad I did the verse again. Be- mm-hmm. And then, you know, I started listening to my own verses, and I make sure I make sure I say the words clear. Okay. You know, a lot of rappers don't say the words clear. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I learned from Andre Harrell, always told me, star vocals is the best. You know, once you say your vocals clear, Put your voice up front so people can hear, you know. Because mm-hmm. like you said, a lot of people, you can't hear what they say. Andre Harrell told you that. Yeah. Say, so always keep your vocals up front. Did you ever work with, like, more mainstream guys like like the Diddy's or the, you know? Or... Well, I did some songs with Puffy. He got, yeah. he got in the vault and stuff. Yeah. I did a song with Puffy and stuff. Uh, I did a couple songs. Well, I got verses everywhere. A lot of people got verses of me, but they ain't put them out yet. Okay. I guess they waiting for me to, you know, whatever hurt myself or something. Now people die? hold pe- people hold your verses and stuff, yeah. but, you know, and they might be older than you. I mean I mean you gonna you might die before me. I mean yeah, don't try to hold a verse to outlive me and then right. sell it later. You know, because yeah. 'cause people do stuff yeah. like that. You yeah. know? It's crazy. You know, so just put the record out and you know what I'm saying? Let everybody live. everybody Let hold it. records, you know, and they got a lot of artists that people probably got verses of all kinds of artists, but they hold mm-hmm. the lyrics mm-hmm. 'cause they got, you know, bad intentions up ahead, you know. Right. Me, I'm sorry, Rich. No, I was going to say, outside the challenges with um, the label holding you back with some of the music, do you ever feel like someone just straight up screwed you over? Uh, Well, like you said, when I get screwed over, I go make other ra- I go make other records on other labels. So when, you know, when I was with Columbia and yeah. stuff like that, I was signed to Mercury and stuff, I, I finagled out of deals by going to make another album because I'm mad, basically. Like, when I worked on... when Columbia started messing with me. I went and worked on Doctor Doom. Mm-hmm. You know, the people from if they another label work mess with me, I go do Doctor Octagon. You know, so the labels get mad. Mm-hmm. You know, we get even. That's all. We get even. You know what? That's interesting. I was actually at Columbia when you were there, and we had a brief conversation. <laughs> yeah, you just telling me. I was telling you some stuff, and it was interesting. Are you still as active in social media? Because what he did when he had a problem with the label, he had all of his fans online email this certain executive. Oh, okay. To release you or to release the to song? To release me. To release him. Yeah. Uh-huh. So this guy who probably gets maybe 10, 20 emails a day got probably, I don't even know, <laughs> millions of emails in his in his inbox all about Cool Keith. Yeah, yeah. they had the Black Elvis album on hold for a long time before yeah. it originally came out. Uh, and by the, and that time, Puffy wanted to sign me, me and Busta Rhymes to a, like another group with maybe one more rapper. And we was trying to get out that deal, and mm-hmm. for some reason they must have felt that whole, they must have felt that we was getting ready to go make another record or something. Mm-hmm. And they never let that album go That's crazy. for nothing. Did y'all record anything with that new I group? mean, Rich was telling me a lot of stuff, but I ain't gonna rap Rich out. Rich, <laughs> no, <laughs> now, now, Rich was telling me, you know, you know, Columbia, 
he was saying up there they was like kind of scratching their head like we don't know how to market this record and stuff we don't know yeah. what to do but originally I had for Black Elvis to be urban they went more alternative mm -hmm. but I was saying y'all should just go straight regular regular like if you put an Usher out yeah. but you know they don't know they just had like they'll see the album cover and they'll take it to another level or uh -huh. we gotta do a, a space movie with this and we gotta you yeah. know what I'm saying yeah. just some people get a little overboard and start reaching yeah right, right. so that's like you said you know Rich said you know like you said they don't know the signs yeah you know it's like some people get a brand new Porsche they don't know how to drive they uh -huh. got too much too much too stuff much in the consoles the and stuff yeah um that's been uh that's what we've been seeing manifest in the in the game today, you know, with the digital platforms and the record companies and behind the eight ball and trying to still control artists the same way they were when you were making your first music. But Cool Keith has sustained and found a formulaic way of staying on top of things, traveling the world, performing, putting out new um, music feature magnetic is the new project. Keith, hang out, we're in what we call the A and R room where we play new music. And then get feedback from those who, yeah. who made hits. Well, well I, like you said, I never yeah. like to be stuck like with yeah. an album. I never like to be not able to record or the record company turning off the PO so I can't record. <laughs> That's like taking yeah. away your creativity. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I respect everybody independent who's recording, who stay in the studio, mm -hmm. who don't got no control, you know. And then, like you said, a lot of the cats from at that back in the golden era, they can't record because they stuck with the labels yeah. giving them money. So mm -hmm. you'll never hear your favorite rapper no more because they... Mm -hmm still waiting for uh mercury to give him some money yeah yeah and meanwhile cool keith is putting out music as yeah. he was from day one as he will uh for the remainder man keith we're gonna play some music i'm gonna get your feedback on it all okay, right okay we're in the a and r room sway in the morning shade four five eight 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 seven four two three three four five and the album is featured magnetic we're gonna play some new songs uh and get your feedback citizens uh, Rich Nice is here too. We just came back from Vancouver. In case you don't believe, I was there. Yes, we were definitely there, and definitely. Well, he was there, I was there. That sounds suspicious. Yeah. Anyway, so this song I'm gonna play. I uh, <laughs> we premiered this song on Friday, and it's something that we got exclusively from a group from the Bronx. It's dope that we got Keith here called DITC, and the song is called Rock Shit. Rock shit. And it's featuring? Feature, it's DITC. It's featuring Fat Joe, um, Diamond D, and Lord Finesse. Oh, that must be a good track. It's a good track, man. I like it. I heard it. Yeah. You, you, well, we're going to play I mean, you have to say the names. Huh, yeah, right. Just right there, right? Yeah. Them together. 888-742-3345. Let us know if you like it or not. Yeah, I like that. I like that, especially when you hear, you know, when you hear... It's like all everybody's out there, different elements. Yeah. Like Fat Joe is out of his element when he did that. It's like more like, I like to hear Joe on them kind of yeah. tracks. And yeah. then, um, Finesse. Like you said, Finesse is good all the time. And then when you get the producer rapping, I like when Pete Rock rapping. I like when Diamond D rap. I uh -huh. like, I like, especially Diamond. A lot of people don't think Diamond got a lot of dope lyrics. Yeah, psychotic. Yeah. And that's Erotic why I always shit. think, too, that's good. The, they rap should be like you said it's like the designated hitter like mm -hmm. he can come out in DH I like when the producer raps on the track mm -hmm. or the rapper makes a beat yeah mm -hmm. yeah put him in a different element yeah, right yeah that's hip hop right there Cool yeah. Keith with us man and Anu is on the line from California what up Anu yep. what's up Sway what's up man what you think of that track you like it or not that's it Oh yeah, that shit's pretty hot, man. Can't wear your 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 sister's clothes out of closet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's yeah. He heard that line. I think that was finesse. Uh, Tracy, what you think of the track? I really liked it. It also kind of reminded me of um, DOA Death of Autotune when Jay Z put it out. As far as production wise, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. some the bounce, sort of the yeah, yeah similarities. Yeah. The, the big drums, rock kind of drums. Yeah, yeah, the drums. Yeah, yeah. yeah good, good call, good call there, Tracy. Yeah, yeah. Jay from Illinois. Good morning. What up, Sway? What up? What's going on, my man? What up, man? What do you think of that track? You like it or not? Oh, it's banging, man. It's old school, like that old East Coast, kind of oldest Sway, man. It's, it's banging, man. Okay, thank you, Jay. We got Rod in Chicago. What up, Rod? You. What up, Sway? Hey, Tracy G has a beat. Cool Keith. What's, What's going on? on? What's up, man? You Yo, like that? I free man, I love that track. Okay, that's That brings up. me back to that 92. All right, that's what's up. Hey, Cool Keith is hanging out with us too, man. Uh, we play one of the songs off his album. It's called Feature Magnetic. It's on iTunes. We play Writers. 
Uh, we're going to get into another one in a second. Uh, Keith, how can they reach you on uh, social media? Uh, everybody can hit me on uh, Ultraman7000 Twitter, official cool Keith, you know, Instagram. And, you know, definitely hit me on the social media, Ultraman7000 Twitter. Okay. Uh, what's the next song we playing, Wonder? Remember the cool kids? Good friends of your Chuck English, Mikey yeah. Rocks. Yeah. They broke up in 2014. Uh -huh. Remember that? But in uh, July 13th of this year, they decided to reunite. It's the first song they put together. A new album is called Special Edition Grand Master Deluxe. Ooh. Coming out soon, but this one is called The Running Man. It's called Running Man, not The Running Man, featuring Maxo Cream. Cool kids. Let us know if you like it or not. 888-742-3345. And that's uh, Cool Kids. Got back together. That's off their new project, and it's called what? Running Man. Special Edition Grandmaster Deluxe. All right, it's an interesting title right there. Easy to remember. Special edition, Grandmaster, Grandmaster Deluxe. Deluxe. Song is called Running Man. Keith, you like that? You said it's uh, you like the hook, huh? The hook is nice. Uh, you know they got they, they style. They yeah. got they style. That's they style. You can't knock they style. Yeah. Sound. You know it's them when you hear it. Have to be what you think of that. Okay, Tracy. Yeah, the nice stickiness factor is cool. Stickiness. Okay, Rich Nice. You know what? Uh, I think they've been underrated for a while. People have kind of borrowed from their styles and went on to have huge commercial success. So it was dope to see them get back together. By the way, Mikey Rocks is also on that A&R Room project that's out right now on, with the Fam Squad and Tukey Carter from um, Taylor Gang. Okay, Rich Nice. All right, Rich Did Nice. Did the, nice. the Running Man ever officially have a song? You know how back in the day we used to do the Running Man? Uh, Running Man. Did Running the Man. Running Man... Yeah. Ever have uh, a song titled Running Man? Yeah, I'm sure that was. But I, I, don't I don't think, think it became think... popular. The, the most the, popular Running Man song was MC Hammer, but it wasn't called Running Man. It right, was, it was Hammer Time. The Wap had a record. Do do? Certain Wap, dancers yeah, had a, a certain record. dancers had a record. The Pee Wee Herman. Do -do. Pee -wee Herman. Herman. Do -do. Wow. Yo. The Bismarck. Oh, 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 sorry, Lynn. What up, Lynn in the bracket? Good morning, Lynn. My bad. Oh, I didn't know I was live with you guys. Yeah, you was riding with us, man. I like man. everything that you guys saying, though. Okay, that's what's up. Nah, Ming. Hey, uh, so yeah. what, what you think of that song, though? Hey, I thought it was bad, bro. Uh, you know, I'm from Nebraska and everything, so it's like I still feel like maybe it's like the '80s around here. You know, like we don't always get, uh, you know, that fresh music right away or something, but. Man, I've been messing with them underground rappers and stuff, and, like, I've been listening to him for a minute, and then i seen him do, like, a single thing, like, that album that had uh, Kill Switch on it. I can't remember what that was. It came out, like, a couple years ago, but, man, that shit was bad. And him going back to the Cool Kids, that can only be good, right? Yeah, man, I like I liked the Cool Kids as a collective. And they did, like Rich Nice say, spark a lot of energy on a lot of these newer artists. You don't know where they got it from, Cool Kids. Hey, hey thank you, man. You're a citizen. Slay in the morning. All right, we got Slater on the line from St. Paul. Big Slater, Slater, Slater. Hey, Slater. hey what's good? Slater. Guys? What's up? I listen to y'all every day, man. Oh, thank you, brother. What you think of that Cool Kids joint? Oh, uh, I'm gonna have to put him on the bench, man. Put him on. The I just bench. wasn't feeling that Damn. shit. Yeah, he wasn't feeling it. Yeah. Wow. What, what? What didn't you like? Uh, it, I don't know. It kind of like sounded like Gucci and Wayne and like all them like new, or not the new rappers, but just kind of sounded like the same shit to me. Yeah. Okay. Huh. All right. All right. All right, Slater, you're a citizen, man. Sway in the money, All right. We're going to take them all the way to uh, <laughs> South Dakota. Joe, what up, man? Joseph on the line. Joseph. Hey. Hey. What's hey, poppin'? guys. What's up? represent the Midwest. All right. Hey, Cool um, Keith is in there. Say what up to Cool Keith, man. Hey, cool, Keith. I've been listening to Dr. Oncologist ever since uh, I was a young teenager. Love that album. Oh, yeah. Keep it up. I got to tell you a secret. You might hear another one. Oh, you got it first oh. right here, baby. Oh, 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 oh. shit. It's coming. <laughs> I was just with Auto. I, I, I spent two weeks with Automator. Well, damn, the Automator. Wow. That's dope. Well, a lot of people, awesome. think, a lot of people think me and Automator ain't friends no more. So that's, I let them think that. Why they think that? I don't know. Man, you dudes been making music since as far as I know. As far as I know you. That's what, I mean, you know, that's what that's what people think. We Did y'all have a falling out? Nah, never. Never, right? Never. Nah, man. Then the automator, man. The automator. Okay, so it's another Dr. Octagon oh, project coming out, right? Oh, not. We ain't gonna keep that under the hand. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to get it. Yeah, hey, Joseph, yeah, what'd you think of that song by Cool, uh, cool Kids? Oh, I thought that was I thought that was great. Reminded me a lot of their old big daily P stuff. You know, stove top of them, big goods, golden in a pager, hit me on a beeper. Love it. Love it. Reminds me of their old hits. Okay, that's what's up, you're a citizen, man. Sway in the All right, let's tally it up, have a beef real quick. Uh here we go. Here we go.
bitch, and I used to have a joint by DITC's called Rock Shit. And then DJ Wonder presented his record from the cool kids called The Running Man. Citizens have voted, and DITC are the winners this week for the AR yeah. room. Hurt, 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 hurt. Wow. Hurt. wow. 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 You're going to be hearing on Sway in the morning. One for the home team. Yo, uh, Wonder. I don't know, man. One thing I always liked about Keith, man, every time he came up to the wake-up show, we'll say, Rev, drop a beat on him. Oh. oh. We'll say, run to drop a beat on him oh. and see what happens. I think I fell off. I think I fell off. <laughs> oh. I think I fell off. I tell off. Oh. Rich, nice. Kate, sweaty. Check it. Ultra oh. magnetic. Oh. With the new shit feature magnetic. Oh. Bank of America. Off beat. Get the credit. <laughs> Superstar. Rest in peace, Jose Fernandez. Mm. Another good athletic. Oh. Anthony Pettit. Throw that shit like a screwball. New ball. Ooh. Fuck around, shoot the eight like a cue ball. Ooh. I'm nice, seven feet eight. I'm too tall. Oh, <laughs> oh shit, I'm legit. I spit, I suck a tit. Down to a clip. Oh. I like to hear rappers sometimes, but they short like misfit. New York sit. Rappers sit down, go to the bathroom and take a shit. And listen to another hit. Let me take a piss. Comrades, come hold my dick. Oh, oh man, cause I'm a number one first round the draft pick. I do this. I'm not new to this. My middle name is Brutus. Brutus. Fuck around, shoot chicks straight through the uterus. Uh-huh. Check on my cuticles, they real beautiful. <laughs> I look at rappers coming up, I say, who is you? <laughs> Snigger doodle. doodle. Fuck around, uptown, be that bozo the clown. That's right, I do the shit hype. Catch another plane flight, I ride Delta. These niggas stand on land. Fuck around, I come in command. God damn, straight to Japan. Catch that next flight out, fucking ride it out. Do this shit, motherfucking sway in the house. Rich nice on my left. Yeah, yeah. Have the beat yeah, to the left. Yeah, what up, yeah, what up? yeah. I own Def Jam, cause I'm a deaf man. Move around with a motherfucking deaf plan. Take the machete and cut your left hand. Oh shit, these niggas whack like motherfucking spam. <laughs> short cake niggas, short baked niggas. Oh man, yo, this way I gotta get off and <laughs> just. Go Keith! Go Keith! Octagon. Yeah, man. You know, like you said, I, you know, I always freestyle. You know, yeah, you go, you gotta have yeah. the freestyle. It's important. I to think the I culture. gotta. Are you the last guy I'ma freestyle on? I think I'ma I ain't gonna freestyle no more though. Word. Yeah, I'ma just leave. I I'm get a, that. I'ma go out like I'ma sit back like the, uh, you know, like the, uh, you know, some guys retire from golf and they just watch. You they know, just watch like Tiger Woods do it. You know. Yeah. yeah. Tiger you know. Woods. Yeah, we just lost a great one. Palmer, too. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm a Palmer. I'm Palmer. Yeah. I ain't gonna say I'm Palmer, but, yeah, but I'm, no. I'm equivalent to Palmer. The equivalent of <laughs> the bar, son. You know what I'm saying? But nah, um, I love you for that, man. Yeah, you yeah, know that freestyle. Keith has always been known for that. Yeah, that you free- know. So, but I'm glad you know a lot of you know uh, writing is coming back. Yeah. Like you said, we needed writing to come back and bars and stuff. Like you said, writing definitely, because like you said, you know even New York, we lost our identity. I mean, even Heather B could agree. Like sometimes I feel like I'm in another place. You riding yeah. around, people listening to tracks, like they sound like they want to be from some other place. Yeah. Like you know New York, we lost our identity. So you got to get the identity back, basically. Yeah. You know. You don't gotta sound like everybody else. You can come out with your own kind of beats, your own stuff, and come back with your own original self. Like that's the problem now. That, like the kids now, they just feel like they gotta sound like somebody yeah. else. Yeah, what you're talking about, Keith, requires talent. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, oh, know, yeah. So. And, and, and that's a little push. And it's hard for somebody to be original. That's the yeah. only thing. Yeah. That shit is hard. Yeah. Like for you know a motherfucker saying he uh, people rather get. Like, yo, you sound like somebody. They be like, oh, okay. word, that's good. That's as long as I'm sounding like somebody, you know, yeah. it's like that shit is not a pat on the back. Nah, that's not that's mm-hmm. not a badge of honor. It really isn't. That's not what we Yeah, people about. feel like a better quote is like like he sound like somebody that's good. Yeah. 
Like he sound like another rapper that's good. You like, sound like Cool Keith. Thank you. Yeah. You sound like Drake. Oh, <laughs> that's what I was going for. Yeah, yeah. Hard. yeah that, but that's not the. Meanwhile, that's not Drake is like, damn, another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially when you start doing the ad libs like the person, like, you start your records. Yo, that kills me when they yo. like, like you know, like what Drake do a lot. Like, ah, uh, you yep. hear dudes doing yep. that too. I'd be like, come on, man, you might as well just. Notice. You might as well go with the dude and yep. just take his yep. whole shit because you like <laughs> doing the same way. Are you starting to rap? That's like you, you know, you starting to rap like somebody, you know, uh oh, uh. -oh uh -oh. Are you just and using the same uh -oh. thing? Uh -oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It sounds just yeah. like them. Like, yeah. yep, yep. Yeah, you, you know, you're using yep. the same slogan. Like they, they do, they do a good bar and they go, yeah. Uh -huh. Like they just killed it the same way he does that. Like right. that's his, that's his natural, impulsive reaction to something he said. And you're mocking, you're imitating his natural, yeah. impulsive reaction. Because you know, but that comes from bad training. Um, what they doing is they sitting home every day listening to that same exactly. dude. Yeah. And after a while, you become that person. Yes. That dude is in you every morning. You Embody wake up. Them. So you like, like you said, you living Yummy. through somebody else. You living yeah. through Drake. You living through somebody else. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sitting home sucking their dick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sitting home are. sucking their dick. Yeah. yeah. It's like you, you really, doing, so, yeah. You, you really, you, you really like licking yeah, his you balls. Swallow yeah. You swallowing his cum. Yeah. <laughs> Swallowing Drake's coming. Change my pitch up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Then you yeah. Come then you right. become him. Then you But I want to do some records out there. Him. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I want to collaborate. You know, I want to. I want to do a record with Rick Ross. I want to do a record dope. with Rick yeah. Ross, and uh, I like Rick Ross. Yeah. I want to do a, Rick Ross when you out there. Get at me, dog, and uh, you know I want to come down. We meet in Miami, and like you said, do tracks. You know. I don't mind collaborating with everybody. You know, yeah. I don't got no animosity. Ti Future, mm -hmm. I like you know, like you said, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the guys, a lot of them dudes think like, you know, you so legendary. They feel like you not, you, might wanna... you don't want to work with them, or you might be souped up on a high pedestal. I remember when I was young, when you know, I, you got that effect when you used to see a lot of rappers that was ahead of you. And they was acting bigger than you, yeah. and you you feel they unapproachable. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, you know I think people shouldn't feel that way. Yeah. You know people are a little more down mm -hmm. to earth now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Keith, yeah, are, you hip, hmm? are you hip to what's going on with um the game and Meek Mill and their bit of beef? Oh, uh, I heard about the I I heard about it going on. Mm -hmm. You know I heard about it and stuff like you know, but that's lyrical. You know that's competitive rap. Yeah. Okay. Once again, back competitive rap. Long as it's still on the Stay on, stay, the, on, stay on the wax and yeah. stay yeah. on the record. It's cool. It's competitive. Mm -hmm. You know, like you said, it's all, it's all sports. Yeah. What else you got, Trace? That you throwing out celebrity vibe? <laughs> <Ryan? laughs> we got Keith here. What else? Yeah, what come else on, Trace. Let's keep it. You know what? But like, you. But you like you said, all these other motherfuckers, they sound like another motherfucker. I'm putting that out there. Yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. saying. You know I, what I'm saying? I say that all the time. I just yeah. like when other people say it so people don't think I'm hating. Yeah. yeah. Would you collaborate with like Odd Future or Travis Scott, any of these new guys? Yeah, I don't mind, you know, whatever. I don't mind, you know, it's all good. Like, you know, a record, you know, you you, you might come up with, you know, you might come up with something crazy, you know. I, I remember, like, Outkast, you know, I I know, what's the name? Big Boy was pretty cool yeah. down there, but the other guy kind of got strange, and, you know, maybe he don't want to collaborate because I guess maybe Phil, maybe he was trying to be me or something, but mm -hmm. the point is that it's not about that. It's about, you know. Yeah. People have made that comparison before. And I like to, I, I also want I also, I, I also want to hear more stuff. I also want to hear more stuff from Jay Z too, because you know he's a good rapper. But like you know, you want to hear more from Nas and them too. Yeah. You're not not just making the record once every five years. Come on, let's you know we all rappers. Let's get off the Barbara Streisand shit. You know <laughs> you don't gotta wait five years to put out a record because you know what I'm saying. Let's you know keep it going. Let's make some records and yeah. have fun and stuff like that. That would be interesting. You know life see. is too yeah. short for all that right. shit. You know yeah, that's real. You you know, everybody yeah. want to be Arnold Palmer, you know? Yeah, man. Cool Keith hang, hanging out. <laughs> Crazy what else? You know what I'm saying? You know it's you... time for Celebrity Wire on Sway in the Morning. Oh, God, here we go. On Shade 45. Cool Keith has joined us. His new project is Feature Magnetic on uh, iTunes right now. Tracy, so we got Cool Keith here. Yeah, so Keith. So we, we learned that uh, uh, he wants to do a song with Rosé. Yeah. He wants Jay and Nas to put out more albums. Well, not more albums, you know, just... Uh, you know, make records sometimes. Just, more, more songs. You know, because, you know, like you said, you know, I like good rappers who, you know, no disrespect, I like rappers that are good yeah. that you should hear more of sometimes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and that goes for everybody, you know, just, you just can't waste time, man. There's right. a lot of time wasted, man. You sit around, you know, don't let the record companies take, you know, that's that, reven, mm -hmm. you know, that revolutionary power mm -hmm. that, you know, they the ones that make you whole 
songs for years and all that because they got bad intentions like you said like I was telling mm-hmm. Heather mm-hmm. people want to put out albums and after hopefully something you, after yeah. something happened right. but you know you should you know what about the people that want to hear that stuff you yeah. know what yeah. I'm saying and that's another thing too and like you said the collaborations you know got to start a building more you know yeah. they don't got to be all predictable and mm-hmm. shit like that you mm-hmm. know you don't got to hear an album people. and know yeah. the same motherfuckers True. gonna work together all the time <laughs> <laughs> that shit gets that shit gets out, uh, there, out of hand so, so here's uh, another story in the yeah, news people. I'm gonna Let's give you I'm gonna give you more this. details okay. on what's going on okay. with um, Game and Meek Mill so a lot of people because there were such serious words that were being swung around people were scared that it was going to go to a violent level yeah. well apparently <sighs> reportedly rumored to be someone did get some hands put on them and that was Beanie Siegel. Now, Beanie Siegel was on a diss record with Meek Mill where they were both coming at the game. Now, the game says that Beanie Siegel got beat up by Meek Mill's people and he put that on his Instagram. Listen to this. So the young boy knocked out the old head because he was drawing at the jaw. <laughs> Niggas is crazy, man. Niggas went and got beans on the song that dissed me. That ain't do what niggas thought it was gonna do. So y'all went back and beat the legend up, man. Niggas is wrong. <laughs> hey, man. Okay, now here's the deal with that. When he was talking about the drawn part, is that Beanie Siegel, he recently did an interview and they're asking him his thoughts about this beef and he kind of let something slip out. Listen to this. I just happened to come in the studio. So, you know, I just was helping him out with some lyrics and the situation kind of played out like it did, but it's really no beef, especially between me and Gang. Me and Gang got a good relationship, you know, had one for years. So it's not me and Gang beef. That's a game and uh, Meek Mill beef. But you heard the part about helping with the rhymes. Hmm. Yeah, they made so. made a song called The Writers for that reason. You got to highlight The Writers. Hmm. That's on Cool Keith's new album. It's called Feature Magnetic. The, oh, y'all got a song called Writers. That's why I wrote Writers. It's about writers. The mm. writers. <laughs> <laughs> writers, is, writers is important. Writers are really songs. Is. Writers, writers right. get the credit. Writers get the Get the publishing writers, the writers. writers. It's the writers. all about the writers. Uh, what else you got, man? That story kind of. Oh, it just, yeah. yeah, put a little clout. All right. Another writer that we love, Kid Cudi, gets a lot of respect, but he doesn't feel like it was enough. He went on Twitter. He called out Drake. He called out Kanye, who's a, who he's collaborated with many a times. Um, but then he was calling out the mother of his child. This was done privately, right. allegedly, <laughs> and it got to the point where... He supposedly sent 148 text messages to her within a three-day span. So he got hit with a restraining order. And allegedly in these messages, he was talking about he was going to send child services her way, saying that he, she's sick in the head, she ain't shit, um, and he was going to serve her some legal papers. And now this woman is like, yo, it got to the point where I was so mentally frustrated, I had to reschedule my classes, my tests. And so they're taking this to court somehow. If you, you 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 ever had a stalker, man, like somebody? Oh, just, a woman stalker? Yeah, yeah. Uh, some women could be stalkers. You know what I'm saying? They could be, like you said, they they can walk. You know, like you said, throw rocks in your window or yeah, something. Yeah. I mean, no, nah, I never. <laughs> I, I, I I I really, you know, you I, a man stalker? I, I take I take um <laughs> like when I used to take when I lived in L.A. I take girls to my house. I go like eighteen thousand different ways so they can't remember. <laughs> I, and they be like, this is not the way to your house. I'd be like, we gotta make a couple of turns and stuff. And I go like way up the Hollywood sign and come back down and uh, go back around the other way. But I, it could have been a simple straight right. route. But I'm like, I'm not gonna let her you know. know I, I live right Taking by the Denny's and it. you could walk straight down. I just go like 18 ways like yeah. see, and come that's the back way. That's smart, man. That's smart, see? <laughs> you got to do that, man. <laughs> you got to do that. The back cave is serious. You got to serious. Thank you for the Celebrity Wire, Tracy. Yeah. We're going to thank our guests, uh, Lupita Youngo for coming by. Youngo for coming by today. Uh, Queen of Ca- Casway. It's the name of the movie. National release this Thursday. Yeah. Simone Boyce from Fox 5 um, News uh, for coming through today. Yeah, cultural correspondent. Cultural correspondent. Uh, She has her documentary as well, Footsteps to Freedom. Check that out Wednesday night. Um, that'll be on Fox Fire tomorrow's show. Q. A humdinger. Okay. Humdinger. Okay. Humdinger. 
Uh, Rich Nice, <laughs> hanging out with you in Vancouver was Swear quite the experience. You got yeah. mics everywhere. Everybody's mic. You, I mean, I got, you, yeah. really, you really show your staff. Got, everybody got a mic. I give them love. Watch this Wonder. How can they reach you, Wonder? Watch this. At DJ Wonder. Okay, that's Ty oh, right wow. there, the, the camera guy. Oh, yeah. He got his own mic. He got I mean, Ty. Say what up, Ty. Uh, what up, what up? Oh, yeah, man. Everybody, everybody got mic. Everybody got mic. Kyle, the intern, say something on your mic, man. Oh, wow. Yo, what's up? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people don't got that. Damn, One mic. Well, you might go to some shows, everybody might have two mics, yeah. but they oh, don't you, want them you to talk. everybody up. They're everybody scared. I'm not scared of. Uh, oh, you letting people express their. I let them, they, uh, them breathe, man. Everybody they, live. Yeah, yeah, yeah people sort of express what they feel. Yeah, you know man. What I'm That's what this is about, man. Rich Nice, they can reach you where? Rich Nice Digital on Instagram and Twitter. Oh, wow. Wow. Heather B. Heather B. Happy Hour. Oh, man. Even the janitor got a mic. Jenner got a oh, mic. He's a go, 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 he got a mic. Oh, him, Rich. I'm talking about mic. Come down. <laughs> See if he come in. All right. Cool Keith, how can they reach you on your mic? Uh, they can meet, reach me on Ultraman 7000. Once again, Twitter. Hit me up on everything. And then the Feature Magnetic album and all the past digital things I got and all the videos, Strip Club Husband, all the albums I put out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> everything, you know, or everything Cool Keith. Who keeps orientated and related, and rap related, you know what I'm saying? And all the rappers, like you said, get the lyric game up. Like you said, just get your lyric game up. Because like you said, you know, keep recording, you know. Don't like, you know, we don't need, uh, once again, like you said, we need to keep them records coming out. Keep get them the songs. Keep, get, them keep writing. Everybody keep writing. And, and the ones who ain't writing, keep writing. Keep writing. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, uh, man, tomorrow on the next show, I'm at Real Sway across the board. You can reach me and until tomorrow. And we'll be posting Cool Keith's uh, freestyling interview. You can see it on Sway's Universe tomorrow morning. But you can go back and listen to it today on Sirius XM. Slash on demand. Okay. And until then, we have nothing. Left to say. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shea 45.